Hello everyone, welcome back. Another video. In this video, I am going to do the test ride for the Rad Runner. Now, if you haven't already seen the previous test ride where I test rode the Rad Runner in Galveston at Zippy's Bike Rental, uh, I'll try to leave a link in the notes and maybe in the show cards. Uh, you can also uh, go to my channel and do a search for Rad Runner. If there's anybody new out there, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I have other bikes that I'm going to be also reviewing from the Deserts and Plains Tour from Rad Power Bikes. Um, again, this is just uh, my personal opinions about these bikes. Uh, some of these bikes I already own. Some of them I don't. And uh, again, this is not sponsored by Rad Power Bikes, but... Uh, I do appreciate Rad Power Bikes letting me test ride them and uh, Corey and Adam over there for uh, being so uh, helpful. Anyways, uh, without further ado, um, any, for anybody who's returning to my channel, uh, please like, share, and comment. Let me know what you all think and uh, let's continue on to the video. Yeah, rad, rad. So if you fill out the test ride waiver, you do get uh, an email, right? Um, with, uh, with I believe a discount. The other option, though, uh, is our Black Friday sale, the right? Cyber Monday sale is going on right now, so it's two hundred dollars off most of our bikes, right? Uh, the runner is the exception; it's a hundred dollars off of that, um, and it's while supplies last. Okay. Uh, so uh, go ahead and check out RadPowerBikes.com, and, and they should already be on sale. So Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Another episode here of uh, Drive Along. Guess what today is? Today is Tuesday, <laughs> November 19th. I have to think about that. I am headed finally to the Rad Power Bikes test ride. Oh, goodness. Getting ready and everything. I feel like I'm going to work. Almost feels like going to work. Jeez. Okay, five minutes. Five minutes until I get to that location. And uh, as I was looking around, I realized something. I forgot my helmet. So <laughs> I don't have a helmet mount for you guys. I don't think I do. Um, I'll look around. Maybe I put it in the back. Uh, anyways. Oh, well. I did bring my chest mount for so for sure. We'll do a chest mount ride. My plan is to... Uh, not do a complete review. I just want to ride the bike and I'll tell you how I feel about it or my experience riding the bike. So um, I'll limit riding the bike to maybe just five minutes of riding around at the park just to see what it's like. And uh, that's kind of what I'll I'll do, you know, just, just a test ride, give you my initial thoughts. So... Although I wish I did have my helmet mount, that would have been nice to get a, you know, view, helmet mounted view, but oh well, it is what it is. Chest mount view is probably the best view anyway. A lot of people like the chest mount view. Getting closer and closer. Okay, we're, we're there. We're there. I'm expecting to see like some rad power bikes around here. Oh, there they are. There they are, right there. They have a van and a tent, and they got some bikes out there. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see if I could get a, a view of it from here. All right, there you go. Oh, Can you see them? Hopefully that sun's not in your eye. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, hopefully you can see him right there. I gotta go to the bathroom and then uh, we'll get going. All right, let the test ride begin. And then the red runner, these are all black. The red, the red wagon's the only one that's orange here. So this is the newest bike here. You know, I never noticed the light. The light is different, so. All right, I'm on the red. I'm on the red runner now. Let's take a look at the bike first. 
I'm on the red runner here. All right, I've already tried it. Let's try it again with the seat a little adjusted and handlebar seems to be about the same, but let's get going. Ooh, got a little pedal strike there. Let's see here. Pedal assist four. Single speed. Single speed. <laughs> Forgot this is a single speed. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh. Oh, I am really up high. I don't think you could even see my hands in the camera. Oh. Oh, was that was that a was that a HD? Is that a cop on a bike? I think so. Oh, they got park rangers or cop rangers here. Interesting. All right. This has no display, so I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. My feelings really hasn't changed all that much on the red uh, on the red runner, but uh, anyways, throttle only. You know, this bike seems a little bit faster for some reason. Don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe they juiced it. They juiced this bike. Anyways. Ah, that cool wind feels really good. I like it. Oh, that's a constable. No fork, no suspension fork. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. Uh, suspension fork, greatly appreciated. Even it's a, even even though it's a, like a steel spring, greatly appreciated. You'll know when you have one, and then you don't. The rigid frame. The Rad Runner. Okay, the Rad Runner. I did raise the seat. I did raise the seat. Okay. Uh, this Rad Runner that they were showing off seems to be a little bit more zippier. Okay, seems to be a little bit more zippier. Now, I, I'm not sure why that is or why that would be, but it just seemed to be a little bit more zippier. Anyways, my feelings really haven't changed too much about the Rad runner uh, the front there's no front suspension fork and that's a big deal because when I took uh, all the bikes I took right it had front suspension forks I think they did I think the red wagon did have a front suspension fork I I don't remember but I could tell right off the bat that it, it is a rougher ride because you know when I when I get off the pavement and I rode on the grass to kind of see how it handles Whoa, you can really feel it on the Rad Runner. Really feel it on the Rad Runner. So I did test ride it a little bit more. It is the bare bones. I, I personally still feel the same about the Rad Runner where they should just add the free wheel, seven speed free wheel, add the front suspension fork, and just go ahead and sell it for $15.99 or $14.99, whatever it is. So if, if you if you already bought one, okay, if you already bought a rad uh, a rad runner for the twelve ninety nine or whatever they're selling it for, good for you. You got a good deal. You got a good deal. And if you're looking to buy the rad runner at the, at this low price, the bare bones price, go ahead, do it now. Especially now, now that it's a hundred dollars off, it's actually one ninety nine, one dollar ninety nine. No, one thousand one hundred and ninety-nine dollars. 
So uh, if you're interested in the Rad Runner, you should buy it right now during the uh, Black Friday, uh, Cyber Monday deal. And then, um, you know, depending on what discount codes you can get, you can actually, you can get the $50 if you sign up, if you did sign up for Test Ride, they'll send you a $50 uh, discount code. Uh, so you get an extra $50 discount, you know, whatever. So those are my thoughts and feelings of all the different uh, Red Power Bikes. Now, keep in mind, these are my opinion. And your situation may be different, okay? And, uh, you know, buy the bike that's right for you. I'm just giving you my feelings on the bikes that I rode, I test rode. Okay, this concludes this episode of Rad Runner. So far, my feelings have not changed all that much about the bicycle uh, Rad Runner. I do think that Rad Power Bikes should add the seven speed freewheel. It's on all the other bikes, so it should be on this bike. And uh, a front suspension, it really helps. The bike is small. And uh, I want to make a correction. The Rad Wagon does not have a front suspension, but it is a heavier bike, and it's also longer. So when you ride over bumps, you don't really feel it as much. That's what I noticed anyway. Uh, with the Rad Runner, it's really small and uh, short and length, you know. And so when you when you go on these bumps, you really feel feel the bump much more than you would on the on a red wagon for the most part so uh, anyways uh, thanks for watching everyone please like share subscribe uh, leave a comment until next time you know I have some I still have what the rad mini and the rad mini step through and the rad rover but of course I'm just gonna give great reviews on those because I bought those bikes. <laughs> I'll still compare my Rad Mini to all the other bikes, the 2018 model versus the 2019, and I'll let you know how I feel about that. So uh, stay tuned for that. Bye.